For these days, just weeks from high school graduation, well, it's happening across our area, but stricter graduation requirements from the state could keep thousands of students from getting their diplomas. And school leaders from all around Florida have been lobbying state lawmakers, asking them to hold off on those new standards. And as WPTV education reporter Stephanie Suskind shows you, it looks like their pleas are working. These are the letters from the superintendent and the school board here in Palm Beach County to state lawmakers detailing the more than 2000 students that would be in danger of not graduating if those stricter requirements remained in place. High school graduation is one of the biggest moments in a student's life. To see them make that achievement um, it's priceless, absolutely priceless. Tamika Robinson, principal of Santa Lucia's High School, says about 150 of her seniors are on the edge of missing that moment because of elevated test score requirements. We're making sure that we're, we're providing students with remediation opportunities or extended learning opportunities. So we've hosted boot camps. We will do everything we possibly can to help them get to the finish line. Palm Beach County Superintendent Mike Burke explained to us the change. Uh, well, they have to pass the Algebra 1 end of course exam and also their 10th grade English language arts state test. Uh, there's another avenue. If students are unable to pass those two tests, they can utilize scores from the ACT, SAT, or PERT test to substitute and satisfy that requirement. There would have been more, you know, higher requirements on the, the ACT, SAT, and then it eliminated the PERT test entirely. He says it's an unfair expectation for students who started their high school careers during the COVID-19 pandemic. There's been kind of a groundswell of uh, support for delaying this implementation one more year, given the impact of the pandemic, and allowing the class of 23 to face the same requirements as the class of 22, class of 21. And it's working. The House approved an amendment Wednesday that would restore most of the prior standards. Both parties, Democrat and Republican, receive emails, phone calls, and contacts on these concerns from their districts. Robinson says all at-risk students have a mentor, and she's hopeful they will all experience that big moment on stage next month. So again, we're just pulling out all the stops, making sure that we're exhausting every option possible to ensure that our students graduate from high school. If the requirements from last year were in play, we'd be in really good position right now. Now the Senate will still need to vote and approve the bill, then it would go to the governor for his signature. Reporting in Palm Beach County, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.